James Luckhurst of Project Edward hears from Commander Gordon about the difficulties of delivering on the NPCC Roads policing strategy requirement of changing minds. I'm going to be really blunt with this. It's not that I have a worry. I'm absolutely convinced we are not changing minds in this. Um, I have held this portfolio for over four years. When I speak to um, anyone around this portfolio in the policing world, legislators, uh, those within politics, um, What's really disheartening is there's a lot of sympathetic noise. There's not always a lot of action in this space. It has taken us years to get uh, roads policing under the strategic policing requirement. I have a background in other areas of operational policing where we didn't have to have that fight, where we didn't have to convince people this was necessary. And we see from the direction that, that is driven through the, the national policing requirement um, that forces then put resources into that. You look back a couple of years ago when we had HMIC, FRS come in and do an inspection of roads policing across the United Kingdom, and it gave a view that we weren't necessarily putting the resources into it we should. And you've got to remember that this isn't just a policing portfolio. This is about protecting five people a day on average that we'd lose on the United Kingdom's roads. And I think it's it's evident that we're not changing the minds the way we should because the conversation isn't being had as frequently as I would like to hear. So what are your tips for changing that and, and telling a better, more compelling story. Yeah, so you remember from the, the um, presentation I did yesterday morning that um, I've thrown in a, a few psychological things that I've picked up over the years, but in really, really simple terms, people care about a cause that they can see. And in behind each of the statistics, there is somebody's loved one that has been killed or seriously injured, and those are the stories that we need to tell. There's an old quote that says one man's misery is, is a story, but a million is just a statistic. And quite often we deal with statistics and we talk about 1,700 people dying or five people per day or somebody killed or seriously injured on a UK road every 16 minutes. That's a horrible statistic, but it's a statistic and statistics aren't emotive. And the plea I gave yesterday to, to the officers and the staff and the, the charities and everybody else involved in this space is let's tell a compelling story. Let's get out and tell the story of the individuals involved. And we've seen that recently um, with, with many people uh, who unfortunately have lost loved ones on the road now coming out and starting to tell that story. And I think if we start doing that and we talk about the individuals and the impact and the lives lost, I think that's when we'll start to see some traction.